Hey folks, it's time for Frugal Prepper. So I'm out here in the garage and I've been working with another YouTuber that put a video up on this uh, Handtech scope that I have. Just trying to play around with it and see what I can make this cheap scope do for me. And what I like to see is the pencil opening and closing. So I've got my um, injector uh, back probe over here. And I've got my amp clamp on this wire. So the blue waveform is my current waveform. Right? And so it should have a slow ramp up and we see that it does. But you should see a little dip in here, I believe, which is going to be your pencil opening, which I'm thinking is right around in this area, probably. It's just hard to make out. It seems like I'm getting too much noise to really see it. Now, this is my voltage on the control side. So I see that I have 12 volts. Then it kicks it to ground. And that's when it fires and the current comes up. And here it kicks it, it, kicks it off. You see the current drop right off. And then you see this big kick right here. And that spikes up to, see I'm on a, uh, let me see the channel one, how many volts am I on on channel one? So channel one is 10 volts per division. So we're looking at like, oh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 something. Um, and then this little trailing in here is the Zener diode in the computer that limits the circuit right there and then uh, it drops off and then this little curve here I believe is my pencil closing but it's just it's real hard to make out on this scope and I've tried playing with different time divisions I'm just trying to figure out if I'm seeing the right thing or you know I haven't tried this on another car but maybe try it on another car but you know this area here is where the injector is active this is uh, what they call your pulse width so if I change the RPM on it here you'll see that pulse width will get wider because it's firing the injector longer um, but I'm just trying to look at a lot of good ones so that I know what a bad one looks like when I see it and I think it's just right in here is my pencil opening and right here is my pencil closing it's just not real clear with so much noise on this guy. Um, I've tried to get my wires and stuff up away from the engine and ignition as much as possible, kind of hanging stuff up. Um, I did have a battery charger on here, but I have it disconnected right now. So I'm just running off with like whatever the alternator is putting out at the moment. But uh, I did also try something I saw in Scanner Danner's video, which was taking the fuse that feeds that uh, fuel control circuit and putting the amp clamp on that and he said it should still trigger and you should see it but there's got to be way more stuff running off of that than the fuel injectors because I can't get a clear picture at all that way so I still want to play with that some more too because that might be handier because like in this case I had to feel some of the electric tape stuff and, and, and wrapping back to get to the wire so if I'm testing somebody's car it'd be easier to put a, a uh, jumper in the fuse and get it that way but let's still figure that out. So anyway, that's what I'm up to, just learning my tools and my equipment and figuring out what I can do with this Handtech scope. It's not a Pico scope, there's probably a lot of stuff it won't do, but if I can get this down to where somebody thinks they might have an ejector sticking open or closed, I can verify that. I know if it's uh, like a shorter coil, this will come up real fast. Um, if it's sticking open, I don't think you'll see this current ramp quite as nice if, if it's stuck. And you definitely won't see the pencil movement. So what I might need to do is collect some bad injectors from some shops. Just, I would ask them to save them for me. But I would need bad injectors for this car or some car that I have. I don't know. But I guess I'd have to put it in here and actually run it to see it. But uh, just interesting. I also want to get one of the old throttle body injected cars that have the other style injector where you see two peaks. I've been watching Scanner Danner's video on that. Just trying to just trying to figure it out and learn. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. It's Tom, your frugal prepper.